Hello everybody, Joel here from the Boys and Girls Club of Dorchester with another science experiment. Get ready because today we're going to be making a paper airplane and we're going to be learning about how it is that they fly. So stay tuned and get ready for materials. Alright, so all we're going to be needing for today is paper. Um, plain old paper and the any really work, but this size will work the best. So what we're going to do is uh, we're going to start folding this into a paper airplane. Here we go. So we're going to fold it this way, the long way. And then we're going to open it back up. We're going to fold. This way. And then we'll do the same on the other side. Boom. Perfect. Now we are going to sort of like close, close it like that, close it and make sure we sort of like flatten it out like that. And it's time to make the wings. So we're gonna fold one fold down, like so, all the way down until you reach the bottom here, bottom part. And then you fold this a second time. And what you do on one side, you do to the other. So here we go. Bring it down. Oops. And then it's one fold. Here comes the second fold. And guess what? It is ready. Up, up, and away! It's a bird, it's a plane. Actually, it is a plane. Now, this beautiful airplane here will be able to fly through the air uh, because of how aerodynamic it is. That's our word for today, aerodynamic. So, that's pretty much the study of how solids can go through air and so this shape here will allow the air uh, to go right through it and allow it to stay afloat uh, uh, or fly and so uh, that is the science behind how planes actually fly and we are going to be testing our very own today so I hope yours is ready um, make sure you ask a an adult before you fly indoor and get permission to fly. I would suggest you fly outside so you don't ruin any of your furniture in the house, okay? So that's today's experiment. I hope you have fun. I'll see you guys next time. Take it easy. <laughs>